Monday to you, my sweet friends. Well, it may not be Monday when you're watching this video. It's probably Friday, seeing as I post on Fridays. But it is a happy Monday for me because I am out of my local hometown area of Tukli and I am in Gosford parked right out front of the Salvos. This is a huge op shop and I have had luck here on several occasions so I'm hoping that today I find lots of treasures. It's been so long since I've been here. I want to round off the year with a beautiful chunky meaty thrift with me filled with lots of treasures modern and vintage, enough rambling, come along with me and let's go thrifting. You guys, I've got a cut, but I didn't bring my tripod, so I don't know how I'm gonna sit the camera up. I'm right in the front of shoes. Look what I spotted. Do you think that these are authentic or fakes? Let's check it out. Well, there's branding in the soles. The soles come off on this one. Okay, I do believe that these are authentic. The soles just come out of one, but they're too big for me, so they're going back. Look at this vintage pair that I spotted. Betty Page. Okay, let's go across to that.
am hot, flustered, and so excited. You guys, I think that was the best thrift trip of 2022. What a way to end 2022. I can't wait to get home and show you all of my treasures. I, I am just... I'm just amazed. I need to come here more often and it was just the best. I found vintage. I found some current pieces. I found the most beautiful stuff and so I'll see you at home and give you all the deets and try everything on. Okay, bye! My friends, I am home and I'm here to give you the haul and try on portion of this video and boy am I excited to show you guys every single piece. I'm excited about every single piece. And I haven't been able to say that in a very long time. I think I have 10 pieces all in all to show you. A total of $58 was spent. Let's just get stuck right into this haul. So my friends, I ended up taking this cute little bag. Okay, there's something about it that is just very Parisian to me. This is vintage made in the USA. I just thought it was adorable very adorable you could even carry it just on the crook of your arm or just handheld like you know you can't see it but just handheld like that i think the shape is gorgeous inside it's lined in this beautiful red fabric and the tag that says made in usa is just here i don't know if you'll be able to see that it's there it's vintage i just thought this was something that I could take with me when I traveled to Europe. I think it's just a very ladylike old world bag. I just loved it, so I took it and that was $8. Okay, so I ended up taking this dress because it reminds me of a dress that I was coveting on the Free People website. It is boho, but I think it's so simple. There's no prints, there's no colors. It's just that timeless piece that I will have for very many seasons to come. I love this deep V. I love the empire waist. This cute little detail on the sleeve is lovely as well. And it's just a button through all the way down with a little ruffle in the skirt. So I just love that this dress is a linen rayon blend. So it's just great again to travel with. And so the only thing I'm worried about is that it is a very deep V, which I love, but your bra is going to show. So maybe a little strapless satin bra will work with this. But other than that, I do believe that this is a stunning yet effortless piece and it's so flattering. It's so flattering on a woman's figure. Okay, so I took these trouser pants because if I tell you how long I have been on the search for a pair of oatmeal sandy colored trousers that look dressy because I can dress them up or down, I just have had the worst luck. I've been looking for nearly five years and haven't found the ideal pair until now. These are just stunning. They fit me to perfection, which has been the problem that I've had. I have thrifted many pairs of trousers, but never in my size. These are vintage. They have discreet pockets, slight pleating, belt loops, a beautiful, not wide leg, but just kind of straight leg that hangs a little bit around the ankle for a very relaxed vibe. Whether you're gonna wear a heel, a boot, a sneaker, these are gonna look amazing. I could not believe my luck, you guys. And they're vintage by Jeff Bade Australia. These were $7. Needless to say, I am thrilled with these trouser pants because they have everything that I'm looking for, everything I just mentioned, and also the fact that they are high waist and fit me to absolute perfection. These are just so flattering and I believe I will have these for many, 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 many years to come. Timeless, stunning. That's why I love vintage. Okay, so I ended up taking this gorgeous skirt. I mean, I just love this kind of print. Plaid, tartan, whatever you wanna call it. It's just very British to me, just very old school and polished. And you can really dress this down with a white singlet or a white tee or a bodysuit and then some trainers. It will look amazing, but then you, of course, can dress it up and make it look either very corporate or just very smart. This one is by Regatta, and I know that Maya carry that label. It was $7, but orange tags 
were half price. The pockets are what just blew me away. A skirt in this shape to have pockets is very rare. I just love it and I know I am going to wear the hell out of this come winter. A beautiful black turtleneck and some white trainers. Oh my God, I cannot wait. I just love, love this skirt so much. I'm not sure that I checked what the fabric was, but I will hopefully find that it's not polyester. Oh wow, it's a linen viscose blend. That's amazing. That is, oh my God, this, this, this haul is just the haul to end all hauls for 2022. Actually, I'm not even sure if this is the haul to end all hauls. It may be the second haul to end all hauls. What am I saying? What am I saying? What I'm saying is that I have been collecting items and I am going to film one huge big try on thrift haul. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel and hopefully I will have that video up for you before I break for the holidays. But if not, it will be the first video when I return in 2023. You will not believe the things that I have found. Okay, so this skirt, vintage, stunning, a blue and green tartan is just my love. I already have. Oh no, it's not in my wardrobe because it's in my winter wardrobe. I have a skirt very similar to this, but it's a little different in the pleating, but it's a tartan skirt in blue and green, but it's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Midi length. I love the pleats. It's a beautiful winter skirt with maybe something yellow in the top to bring out the minimal yellow, maybe a yellow knit or a black turtleneck knit that I have in cashmere, which has very minimal black in this. I think it's just so, so stunning, this skirt. And these skirts, I mean, pretty much everything just fit me to perfection. It was like today was meant for me, just to, to splurge on some vintage finds and not inventory for my shop. So I just couldn't believe how perfectly it fit me in the waist. It was unreal. I just am all about a tartan a tartan print, whether you're talking pants, jacket, skirt. When I see it, I have to have it. So this is stunning. What about this one? I just died. I really did. I just thought, oh my God, if I leave here with just this, it is a successful trip for me because it's stunning. Look at this red tartan and the pleats and the silhouette of this skirt. All these skirts, I am just in love with the silhouette. It's stunning. It's absolutely gorgeous. So flattering, so polished, so old school. But if you style them in the right way, they will look just so modern and unique. This is vintage. I feel that it's wool, but I'm not sure that there was a tag inside this one. But again, in the waist, it fit me to absolute perfection. The midi length, just, oh my God. It's just unreal. It's unreal, this skirt, both of these. I mean, these two skirts are just something else. I am just, this is my vibe. It may not be for everyone, but for me in the winter time, it's just a beautiful way to wear color, but in a very subtle way because it's such a British old school print. I will bet anything that this is a wool cotton blend. I can feel it. This is definitely a winter skirt. I'm just freaking so in love with it. I also ended up taking you guys those Corfu jeans because when I see denim in this wash, it's just vintage vibes to me. I have a pair of shorts in this wash. They're by Zara, but they were called vintage, you know, Bermuda shorts or whatever they were because of the color. This color, it has no grain in it, but it's just that very old school blue, right? It's that just gorgeous old fashioned denim. I think these jeans are gonna look so much better belted because I wasn't really sure about the front of the jeans. I loved the back, the two pockets in the back and the two pockets in the front. And I just loved the shape. This kind of mum style shape is always just so flattering. And I just love that huge label on the back that says Corfu. I remember Corfu being around when I was a teenager. They are so unbelievably comfortable. These are, these are gorgeous. I just thought they were Mwah. Okay, so I ended up taking the sports craft shirt. I love it. I love the stripe. I love the forest green color, double chest pockets. It was 
large, so therefore fit just oversized on me. It fits like a dream. Tuck it in, leave it out, tuck half the side in, leave the other side out, roll it up to a short sleeve, leave it long, leave the cuffs undone or done up for a more polished look, button it right up to the collar or leave it in a deep V. I'm a shirt obsessed woman. I always will be. I just think a shirt is the most sexiest item you can have in your wardrobe. And I stand by that quote. So I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. If you're familiar, Sportscraft shirts go for 200 bucks and up. So this gold silky shirt, this is by Bassler. Now this is a German label and I have thrifted items from this label before, but it's not often. So when I see it, I just know that it's quality, that it's vintage and it's it's just Europeans. So I just love this shirt. I really do. I think it's stunning. I love the details, the silky fabric, the single chest pocket. It's just immaculate. I would wear this left gaping into a deep V and tuck it in just for jeans. Now this one was green tag and green tags were $2. So this vintage shirt was $2 you guys. What the hell? This is crazy. I haven't had this much luck in years. This this thrift haul reminds me of the early days of my channel when I used to find so many amazing bargains for one dollar at my local salvos. This is kind of reminding me of that. I found quality, vintage, you know, and I just, it's rare that I come across it now. So that's why I'm just, I can't contain myself today, but it's stunning. It's just stunning, right? This blue shirt with the beautiful turtleneck. Oh my God, so stunning in a shirt and a little pin tuck detail at the front is also by the same label, that Bassler label. And this one was a green tag as well. It's just stunning. I love this color. This color is pure perfection and I could wear this with dark blue denim and my Teddy Blake bag. I mean, wow. That is, that is stunning. That is absolutely stunning. I cannot wait, cannot wait to wear it. It's got a beautiful detail in the back, little buttons. The front is a turtleneck, which is just so stunning. Button cuff detail. This is giving me fancy lady vibes. And you know, I'm not really a fancy lady. I'm not into glamorous kind of clothing, but this to me is just so sophisticated and I am about that. Finally, for the last piece of this thrift with me is this polka dot blouse. It's stunning. I love polka dots and I love this tan color. This is just so beautiful to me. I love the pin tuck detail at the front. This Peter Pan collar, it's kind of layered. So you get two is just so beautiful, so beautiful. A button cuff detail to cinch in at the wrist very delicately. Look at the back. This is beautiful and it's vintage. I am never more excited than when I find vintage. I just love vintage and I love pairing my vintage pieces with other items from my wardrobe which are modern and current because then you have such a unique outfit. There's something old school about it. There's something unique about it. There's something maybe quirky about it. It just can't be copied and that is why I love vintage so much. So that my friends brings us to the end of this thrift with me. I just am so happy with everything I found. I hope that you enjoyed the pieces as well. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to come and say hi over on Instagram, I'd really appreciate that. I have heaps of outfit inspo on there for you guys. And I guess that is it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope I see you in my next one.